After the Celtics were eliminated from the postseason, the team made a surprising announcement that Danny Ainge was stepping down and Brad Stevens would replace him as president of basketball operations. I'm Madeline Burke for Sports Illustrated here with SI's Michael Pina and Howard Beck. And guys, a lot of people thought Mike Zarin would be the heir apparent in that role, but it's Brad Stevens stepping in with no front office experience yet. So, Michael, how can he get this Celtics team back to the NBA Finals? Well, the first step is obviously hiring a new head coach, and there are a bunch of interesting candidates for Brad to to come through, from Milwaukee's Darvin Ham to former Hawks head coach Lloyd Pierce to Brooklyn's Ime Udoka to San Antonio Spurs assistant Becky Hammond. You know, finding stability at that spot is critical. You know, from there, the hardest part is already taken care of. Boston has two cornerstones in place with Jason Tatum as a 23-year-old superstar. And Jalen Brown is one of the best two-way wings in the league. There are a lot of short and long-term payroll issues that mostly revolve around Kemba Walker's knee and Marcus Smart's next contract that are going to be really tricky to navigate. But the good news is that the Celtics have um, really intriguing young players who should improve over the next few years. Romeo Langford, uh, Aaron Neesmith, Rob Williams, Peyton Pritchard. Brad will also have a mid-level exception this summer. And... Um, uh, $11 million left over from Gordon Hayward's trade exception. So that's very uh, exciting. Um, But if we're talking about getting back to the finals, you know, they'll probably just have to wait out the Nets' reign, um, clear max cap space a couple summers from now, and hope that they can land a third star to pair with Tatum and Jalen. Until that happens, you know, Brad will just need a bunch of luck and a whole lot of patience. Um, well, on that uplifting note, let me just add this. Uh, I'm not sure if Brad Stevens can get them back to the finals because I'm not sure if Brad Stevens should be the one running basketball ops, a job that he's never done. And that's not to say that he's not capable, that he's not obviously an incredibly bright basketball mind, but he's making a leap that we have not seen happen that often, especially in the modern NBA, where the team president or GM job is incredibly complex and has almost nothing in common with being a good coach. He's got a a set front office there that he's inheriting. They should be fine. But listen, he's going to be the lead decision maker. And we really don't know what Brad Stevens in that role even means. On top of that, there's everything that Michael just outlined. This team is kind of hemmed in. You don't want to break up Tatum and Brown, so you're not trading one of them for help. You don't really want to lose Marcus Smart because he is your defensive conscience, in a lot of ways, the soul of that team, and Kemba is unmovable. So they're kind of stuck with what they have as a core. Can they build around the fringes? Can they replenish the bench and free agency? Can they get enough growth from the young guys that Michael mentioned? That's the path, but is that getting them to the finals in a conference, not just with the Nets, but the Bucks and the Sixers as well? I can't see it right now. Yeah, I mean, I've got to agree with you there, especially, you know, pointing out the fact that Brad Stevens doesn't have the experience here. And he pointed out when uh, in that press conference, hey, you know what, we've got a front office with talented guys like Mike Zarin, like Austin Ainge, who should both really get some more responsibility in this structure because they are not only tasked with doing the jobs that they have been doing, but also helping this man, Brad Stevens, kind of assimilate to a brand new role. Whether that happens or not remains to be seen, but you're right, they have a strong young core to build around and they're not going to break up Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. So really just adding depth behind that. And the first piece, though, of course, is going to be finding the right head coach to lead this group. A lot of names have been floated around. You know, Pina, you mentioned some, Nate McMillan, Sam Cassell, maybe a Jason Kidd who says he wants another shot at coaching. But whoever comes in has got to be the right choice. It's an important first decision for Brad Stevens.